Hey everyone, how's it going? This is the first episode of Cooking with Beefcake. Um, I decided to go ahead and do a little video series every couple of weeks. Uh, every weekend I like to cook, watch some horror movies, so I um, decided why not show you what I'm cooking. Now, I'm by no means an expert chef, but I consider myself pretty good. With that being said, mistakes will be made. Some things I've never cooked before, I'll cook them on here. Uh, if they turn out bad, you're still going to see it. I'm not going to edit it out and pretend it tasted good when it didn't. But yeah, um, I just thought it would be pretty cool to show you what I'm cooking, show you how I cook it. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert chef, but I'm pretty daggone good. With that being said, this first episode, uh, I've had a craving for tomato penny pasta for quite a while, and that's what I'll be cooking tonight. So you're going to see the process. You're going to see how I cook it, how it turns out, everything like that. Now keep in mind, this is the first episode, so there's no intro, uh, there's no format of how I'm going to do this, so uh, we'll get better as it goes. So, <laughs> with that being said, first episode of Cooking with Beefcake, tomato penny pasta with mozzarella cheese. Hope you guys enjoy it, because I'm, I'm sure going to enjoy eating it, so with that being said, enjoy everyone. Alright everyone, so here's our ingredients for this tomato penny pasta with mozzarella cheese. First up, believe it or not, this is supposed to be three cloves of garlic. Um, two of the cloves broke apart. So, yeah, close enough. <laughs> of course we have our meat here. Uh, I've been letting that thaw out all day. It usually takes seven or eight hours to thaw out. We have our penny pasta. Then we have our crushed tomatoes. Our tomato sauce. Last but not least, tomato paste. And we're also going to be using basil leaves, black pepper, parsley, Italian seasoning, iodized salt, and we're going to use some sugar. It's in the back there. And of course, our mozzarella cheese. So these are the ingredients for our tomato penny pasta. This is going to be good, man. And the first thing we need to do is we need to cook this meat. Like I said, it's been thawing out all day. It usually takes about seven or eight hours, unfortunately. And we've got the pan heating up already. All right, we've got the meat in here. And we're just going to chop this up. Now, if you watch some of my other videos, when I'm cooking meat, I constantly chop it. Did you see I go up and down just chopping it up? Because I like my meat to be in little pieces. I don't like big chunks of meat. No, I just like it to be in tiny little pieces. Um, just a personal preference. So I go up and down chopping it. Then I chop it from left to right. And I just keep chopping this the whole time as well. Most of the time it's cooking, I should say. <laughs> like I said, I just want to get that meat just tiny little pieces. And this won't take too long to cook. As I said, I already had the pan heated up so it was ready to go before we started here and just keep chopping this meat get those nice small pieces in there yeah I'm not gonna chop the whole thing I'm not gonna record the cooking the entire thing that's just gonna be incredibly boring so we'll just do a little bit more here see some of it starting to cook and brown already that's good all right, let's skip ahead a little bit here. All right, most of this meat is cooked. Uh, like I said, I wasn't going to record the entire cooking process. That would have been boring. <laughs> well, yeah, most of this is cooked. We're just going to you know, flip it over just to make sure. And it's in tiny little pieces, which is awesome. That's how I like it. Um, yeah, I think that's done, man. All that's left to do is just drain that fat and that grease out of there. Alright, we've drained the meat. All the fat and the grease is gone. And next thing we need to do is cook our pasta. Now I've got the water on high because I want to bring the water to a boil. I've got our Barilla. Is that how you Barilla? Barilla? Penny pasta? I usually use the Great Value brand, but I'm going to try something different this week. And we're just going to put a little bit of this salt in the water. And when I say a little bit, I mean just a little more than a little bit <laughs> my measurements are different than most now this is what I call the junk drawer we've got pretty much everything in here we just need a spoon 
big plastic spoon. We're just going to uh, stir this up a little bit, get that salt mixed in with the water. And we're just going to bring it to a boil. Alright, while that's boiling, or trying to boil, we're going to go ahead and crush our garlic cloves here. So I'll be right back. Alright, we've crushed all the garlic. Look at that. Now I like the smell of garlic, man. Most people don't. I like it. I think it smells great. So let's go ahead and check on this water. Alright, our water is boiling now. So what we're going to do is we're going to dump our pasta in there. The whole box. Not one pasta will be spared. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I'm just going to stir this up a little bit so they don't stick to the bottom of the pot. Definitely do not want that. And I'm just going to stir in different directions here. I'm also going to turn down the heat. Right now I have it on high. I'm going to turn it down. So I don't, definitely don't want the water to be boiling the entire time. It will overflow, spill out all over the stove if you're not careful, if you're not watching it. I'm just going to stir this up a little bit more. Right, and we're going to leave it in the pot to cook for a little while. We'll come back periodically and stir it. As you see, I've turned the heat down. I've got our oven preheated as well to 375 degrees. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. It's the first episode. You have to excuse me. Like I said, just stir this from time to time and keep the pasta from sticking to the bottom of the pan. It won't take long to cook at all either. So that's the good part. You won't have to cook this very long before it'll be done. Now while our pasta is cooking, I went out and bleh, I went ahead and got this baking pan or a glass, whatever you want to call it, and we're just going to spray some Pam on it, some uh, non-stick cooking spray, and that's it. That's all we needed. I always do that as a precaution. I don't want the I don't want anything sticking to the pan. I can't stand that. So let's go ahead and put this Pam back up. Let's check on our pasta here. That's coming along very nicely. I'll just give it a quick stir. Like I said, just to keep it from sticking to the bottom of the pan. That might be done, you know. I think that's done, guys. So let's go ahead and drain it. Alright, decided to stir it just a little bit more. It's almost done, not quite. This might do it here. I just want to make sure about. I want to make sure that, that pasta is cooked. I don't want any rock hard pasta. Now I'm going to say that's done. So yeah, we're ready to drain it. We're just going to dump the pasta in the strainer here. Drain all that water out. And then we're going to get started on our sauce. So let's go ahead and drain this pasta real quick. Alright, we've got it drained. Still nice and hot. Look at that, man. Now, what I like to do is, as soon as I drain it, I like to just spray some cold water on it, and you know, that kind of keeps the pasta from sticking to sti uh, Wow, sticking together. Excuse me. <laughs> First episode, folks. Yeah. Now, I left the I left the burner on, so it's still hot, and we're gonna use the same pan we cook the pasta in to do our meat and our sauce. I mean, why waste more dishes? You can just do it in the same pot. Alright, we've got our meat in this pot. As you can see, the burner's still hot. And we're just going to add our sauce here. First, we're going to do our can of tomato sauce. Hopefully, it doesn't spill all over the place. I've been known to do that. Alright, so far, so good. There has been times when I've splashed tomato sauce all over the place. It was not pretty. And next we're doing we're gonna do our crushed tomatoes. Yeah, uh, we'll try to splash all over the place. Get that little bit out. There we go. And lastly, we're gonna do our tomato paste. I'm gonna have to scoop this out with a spoon. Hold on. Alright, there we go. We've got our tomato paste in there. You see it's already bubbling, already cooking up great. That's what we want. 
And now we're going to add all of our spices. First is our basil. We're actually going to do one and a half teaspoons of basil. So they got one teaspoon in. There's the other half. I said one and a half teaspoons of basil. Next up is our black pepper, and that's going to be one quarter teaspoon. We'll just drop that in there. It's starting to smell great too. All right, next up we got parsley flakes. Now this is a lot. You're going to use four tablespoons of parsley, and that is a lot. Well, man, it tastes great. It's definitely worth it. And it smells awesome too. Next is our Italian seasoning. You only need one teaspoon of that. So one teaspoon of Italian seasoning goes in. Oh yeah. There's our sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar. We also need water. I forgot about the water. So one and a half cups of water. Like I said, first episode, folks. <laughs> now, we also put in a half teaspoon of salt. I forgot to record that, too. Like I said, first episode, mistakes will be made. And we're just going to put our pasta in there as like such. And we're going to mix it all up. All right, we've got the pasta mixed in with the meat and the spices. Now, we're going to put our garlic in. Our garlic is in. It's been mixed up in there. That is awesome. And we're just going to put all that in our baking dish here, or pan, whatever you want to call it. All right, now that that's in there, we're going to add our mozzarella cheese on top. Now, I don't put a whole lot of cheese up there because, you now when it melts, it kind of, you know, expands a little bit. I don't like a whole bunch of cheese up there. So that's as much as I've added. Now, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but once it's done, it'll be completely covered. So that's perfect for me. All right, we've had it in there for about 25 minutes at 375 degrees. Once again, 25 minutes at 375 degrees. Now, if we need to cook it longer, we will. Um, that actually looks pretty darn good. Yeah, we're going to call that done, man. Like I said, it doesn't look like a whole lot of cheese, but once you get it mixed in and going, it, trust me, it's enough. If you want more cheese, feel free to add it. But here we go, man. Look at that. That smells awesome too. Now we're gonna go ahead and get something to drink here. If you know me, you know what it is. <laughs> the same thing every weekend. That's it, let's eat. Alright everyone, so there it was, the very first episode of Cooking with Beefcake. Um, sorry about the video quality during the intro, I don't know why it was so screwed up. Um, I'm going to have to work on that see what's going on with it. But yeah, that was the first episode of Cooking with Beefcake. Uh, as we go along, I'll eventually have an intro, maybe some music. And like I said in the um, beginning, I don't know if th this isn't going to be a weekly show, it'll be once every couple of weeks. Because you know there are some weekends I just don't really feel like cooking, so it is what it is. <laughs> Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed eating it. I'm a big dude. I enjoy food. So I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Beefcake. And before that, as always, we'll have gameplay videos, pickup videos, and all the stuff that goes along with this channel. So once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.